Please welcome Jennifer Love Hewitt. Jennifer Love Hewitt, but yes. everybody calls you Love. Yes. All right, I'm going to call you Love. Okay. <laughs> All right, Love. How are you, Love? I'm great. I am so excited to be here. I love you. I just adore you. I watch you every day, and you're so great. And Thank you, Love. Yes. I love you, too. <laughs> You know, I'm a big, avid watcher of the party of Thank five. you very much. Thanks. You and Bailey, no more, huh? No, mm -mm. just roommates. What is that about? My dad screwed everything up. <laughs> Don't I know it? I know, he's he horrible. He is so controlling. So, so what controlling. What is he thinking about? I don't know. I know why she moved out, though. Don't you think? Totally. I mean, he was kind of mean. Like, did you guys see? Poor Bailey. So what? He got yeah. a little bit, you know, in trouble. In his, but he is, he's better now. He's yes. in the program. Yes, he's doing better. He's but now there's appealing. this new girl. Yes, you missed your chance, Sarah. I know. You I stand know. up to your parents and say, that's my Bailey. I know. What I happened? Know, you want to know a secret? What? I think Sarah's going to get somebody new, too. Really? Yes, possibly. Possibly cute. It better not be the older brother. Oh, no. <laughs> that would be bad. Oh, no, no, not I saw Charlie. the older brother last night with the veterinarian lady. That's yes. interesting. Is yeah. that she recurring now? Uh, I think so, yeah. Well, at the commercial, yeah. you tell me all the dirt, all okay. right? Okay. <laughs> all right, now you got a new movie. I will not see it. Frightening. It's called... So scary. I know what you did last yes. night. Yes. Are you a big scary movie person? I am terrified of them. i never seen a horror film until I did this movie. It was so scared. But decided to, like, face my biggest fear and go ahead and, and do one. And I was terrified filming it. Saw Crazy Fisherman everywhere. I was, like, psychotic really? during filming. Oh, yeah. Now, yeah. I thought that it... Did it give you nightmares? Oh, absolutely. Absolutely. I've actually had this, like... It, this has nothing to do with the movie, but I've had a really, like, weird, reoccurring dream lately about a lava lamp. <laughs> hey, it's not funny. I'm telling you. It's really weird. About this, a lava... And it's scary? The lava lamp, like, forms into the... You know the flubber thing in the, in the trailer for the flubber movies? Yeah. It, like, forms into that, breaks out of the glass, wraps around my neck and my mouth, and suffocates me to death. I think it means see a shrink. <laughs> <laughs> okay. It might mean that. It could no, mean I, that too. I can't even. I saw burnt offerings when I was in seventh grade. Yeah. I'm 35 years old, love. 35. I still have nightmares of Betty Davis in that movie. So scary. And it wasn't even a good scary movie. <laughs> it was a bad scary movie. No, I get really freaked out about that stuff. I'm, uh, yeah. Now, no. you play a woman in this who gets like stalked by a scary yeah with these four teenagers end up there they are like celebrating their last night before they go off to college and they hit a man and they have to decide if they're going to keep it a secret between the four of them or if they're going to turn themselves in and my character says of course we should turn ourselves in you know but she should not keep this a secret she gets peer pressured into keeping it a secret and it comes back to haunt her a year later and she gets this letter saying i know what you did last summer and finds out that somebody else knows what they did and is tormenting them throughout the movie so it's really scary all right we got a little scene of you being tormented I yes. know what you did last summer. It opens today. Jennifer Love Hewitt. Take a look. <laughs> See, even the music. It's scary. <laughs> yes. Yes, yeah, don't like creepy. that scary music. No. 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 So you never saw Scream or Freddy Krueger? Well, or... I did. I watched, I watched scary movies like a week before filming because I wanted to kind of prepare myself. Yeah. And I, I still don't think I'm going to go see them. It really, it's scary. It, yeah. I freaked out watching the movie at the premiere. I was screaming. I was like, am I saying, ah! It was really scary. you knew scary. what was going to happen. Yeah. So what does that tell you? <laughs> yeah, no, it's, it's really scary. Now, Definitely. how old are you, love? 18. You're 18. 18. You're just a little kid. Yeah. Now, you went to the prom. Yes, I got to go to... Actually, I was in, uh, did my school like through tutoring and stuff because of work, and um, I was working on a show in Hawaii, and uh, the, one of the extras sent me roses on the weekend, and he asked me to go to his prom with him, so I got to go to the prom in Hawaii. Well, that's sweet. It was really fun. It was really fun. And I heard another sweet story, that you graduated from high school and you got a little special something from... I did. A I did. I have, yeah, um, kind of like your Tommy. I have, yes... Tommy, can you hear me? <laughs> <laughs> yes, I, I, um, I admire greatly Johnny Depp. And, Johnny um, Depp. He found out about it. We kind of had, like, this long-running thing where I was supposed to meet him and ran away crying and screaming because I couldn't talk to him. I didn't know what to do with myself and was totally embarrassed. Finally got to meet him, and he sent me a big thing of flowers for my graduation with a card saying that he, he was proud of me for sticking through, like, high school, and he thought that I, I did a great job. Congratulations and lots of love. How really sweet, sweet is that? It was really sweet. Have you met him since? Um, I have 
haven't met him since, but I did like get to meet him once. I was at the Donnie Brasco premiere. They actually gave away my seat because I waited too long to, to like try to meet him, and <laughs> so I didn't get to see the movie. But I waited at the party and I got to meet him, and he was such such a nice man. He did the show once in LA. Yeah, and he was so sweet. He and was he's, very he's a little sweet. Shy. Yeah, but you did a good job. You got him oh, like thanks. all excited. Well, and you stuff. know, it was I like fun. him. He's a cutie patootie. Yes. I have a present. You. For me, you a present? love. I'll take whatever gift you have. Okay, I um I made this for you. This is I painted this at a place called Color Me Mind. This is your very own Alto um, Altoid holder. Wow, love that is so sweet. Can you people see this? An Altoid holder. This side holds M and M's in case you need chocolate during your show. An M and M holder, and look, you made it smaller <laughs> to help me on my nutritional quest. That's so smart of you. So, well, thank you so I much. I hope that you will enjoy. This fits in there like that. See, it's like a whole little thing. Oh, it's a whole little, and yeah. it forms a heart. See, there you go. Aren't you the sweetest? <laughs> what a lot of people don't know is that you're also a singer. Yes. You actually have CDs out, kind of a yes. singer. Now, yeah. uh, I, we don't have anything prepared, prepared, but would you like mm. to sing a little I would love here? to. What do you want to sing? I would love to. Um, do you like Motown music? I love Motown. Can I do Dancing in the Streets? I sang that at the Motown Cafe. John, do you know ago. this? Go ahead, do a little. Well, um, well David. All right, wait, what? Well, um, will David come out and dance? I, David Evangelista, I'm such a huge fan of his. Will he You're come a fan out of David Evangelista? Will he come out and dance? David!